I think you should keep that to yourself, really. I mean, why would I want to hear that? Crazy. Well, this is sore. It's just yeah. average Saturday night. Uh, okay. Oh, no. Is a 2021 American horror thriller film written and directed by that nice young man, M. Night Shyamalan Nonga Dinga Dong. It is based on the French language Swiss graphic novel, Fancastle. You sound like a dirty old street pedo. It's what you sound like. We're losing Pierre listeners by the Oscar. second. Levy. The plot follows a group of people who find themselves <laughs> aging rapidly. Uh, yeah, on a secluded beach. <laughs> it's, the it's film like grows. And then he's old. $90 million worldwide. Oh, that's an awful lot. Of, that That's more money than there is in the whole world. How, oh, is this oh. Are you going to do that for the whole episode? Against an $18 million oh, budget oh, yes. while it's receiving bad. mixed reviews from critics. That was my old people voice. That's oh, how I'm going right. to sound. When you're old. Yeah. Right. Ah, That's okay. You, you yeah. talked all over my interesting facts. Yeah, it's based well, on a, a, a novel and it follows a gross $90 million and only cost 80, $18 million to make. So yeah, we made were, a lot of money. We were listening to the old man. Oh, you're talk talking over me the whole time. It was fucking awful. I talk over oh. you the whole time anyway. People will understand what's going on here. And we're just waiting for you to tell me to shut up. Jesus, fuck. Anyway, this is a movie that, when it came out, everything I saw about it was bad. All the reviews were terrible. Like, oh, fucking M. Night Shyamalan, he's fucked it up again. He's back to being shit. Mm. Yada, yada, yada. There was a little bit of a resurgence after... Uh, Glass and shattered, where you know, you people like, oh, you know, M. Night Shyamalan, he might be back in form again after uh, the happening. Remember the happening? I fucking loved the happening. Screw you guys and screw your fucking dogs, too. It was fun. <laughs> I enjoyed it. It was like a long episode of the Twilight Zone, but you know, mm. epic, epic uh, idea execution. I thought was great. Everybody moaned about Mark Wahlberg's bad acting, but he's just being Mark Wahlberg. It was fine. It was great. You joking? Stick a pencil, pencil in your ear, dumb cunt. Are you, are you joking? It was a terrible film. No, I fucking loved it. I really did. At the cinema, every time I've seen it since. Yeah, the Nature funny thing about back. M. Night Shyamalan is uh, he did a film called Lady in the Water that got bagged. I saw it in the theatres and I fucking loved it. Like I had tears in my eyes at the end with the, when the hawks come and the monkeys are in the tree. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. It was beautiful. I love yeah, that. I haven't, fucking I haven't great. seen that one yet. Yeah. Amazing. Loved it. And, uh, yeah, it's a thing. M. Night Shyamalan, he, he gets fucking bagged, but... Signs, signs. Yeah. I fucking love signs. Oh, oh I so good. hated signs. That's the worst goddamn fucking alien film of all time. Why the fuck would you invade a planet that is, the majority of it is water, when water is your fucking Achilles heel, and mm. it rains all the fucking time in the, on the planet? They would have just it, been walking around and it rains, and the aliens are fucked. Here's my theory. On oh, yeah, on. Hmm. The monster wasn't evil. The people were evil. They were hunting the monster for no reason. That's the twist of the movie, I think, that people missed. Because the monster was unarmed. It was naked. It was vulnerable to everything around it. Its fingers got cut off easy peasy underneath the door. Its water burns it, yada, yada. The monster wasn't looking for trouble. Like, the first time they hear it, they go chasing it with pitchforks. They set dogs on it. They chase after it. The monster does nothing wrong if you watch the movie carefully. No, the people hunt the this the monster the whole though. film. No, there's only one in that area. It's the same alien. Yeah, yeah. There's only they one kill the. That. The film is about misrepresenting, misreading signs, get, divining meaning from signs that isn't <sighs> there. They thought the monster was evil and out to get them. The monster was a frightened and alone and vulnerable, and they attacked it. That's what the movie's about. Uh, no, but there's more than one alien, though, right? 
on the, they show an alien in Brazil or something like that. Yeah, they're all around. But the there's only there. one in their neighborhood. Yeah, they're but they're lost. Are... They're lost and waiting, trying to be picked up by the motherships. Somehow maybe they got I lost. I mean, look, it's, it's worth a rewatch, maybe. But uh, yeah, yeah, watch it again and know. go. The monster isn't isn't the bad guy. They kill the monster viciously. Yes. They don't live it, give it help. They don't go. Oh, you're alone and lost. Would you like your help, friend? Do you need a hug? Do you want to sit inside where it's dry? They don't do that. They chase it, fucking hunt it down. Okay. If there's a scary looking alien in my house, I'd try and stab it too. I suppose. I think yeah, we can like agree a- that. M. Night Shyam along my Ding Dong is a very divisive director. Like people can watch his movies and get completely different opinions on them. Well, that's that's good. That's art, I suppose. And I guess you know he has his ups and downs, like like all of us. So maybe when we see all of his films together, it creates a, 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 an overarching picture, maybe perhaps. But Signs is hard to watch now because it's got the Jew hating Mel Gibson in it. Oh, that's what I like about him. Oh, right. Now we've been cancelled. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. <laughs> it was a nice run. We almost made it to 100. Well, they um, killed Jesus. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if we're, oh, we're in the entertainment industry. Uh, <sighs> uh, so we'll, we'll just come out as gay and then we'll be, it'll be fine. Oh, yep. Sure. All right, next tangent, moving along <laughs> swiftly. This movie, old. It's a movie. Oh, yes, that's right. He- heard nothing but bad things. I didn't watch it. And then it was on Netflix and been sitting there a while, and I went, oh, fuck it, I'll watch it, and mm. enjoyed it. <laughs> it was good. Mm. How about you? Uh, I was just kind of indifferent, you know. I liked the idea. But the execution left me wanting. Is that a polite way of putting it? Like, there's some bad bits. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> it's not perfect. There's some pebbles yeah, no. in the shoe. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. You just want to kick out, but you're going to keep yeah. walking anyway, and it gets worse and worse. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, I, I much. I think that's what I like about, about Shamamalamalan is that it's like an all his films are like an episode of the twilight zone or outer limits or like a short stephen king story they're great premises they just and thrillers that makes it worth the watch oh, hitch hockey and thrillers but, a little sci-fi yeah, and you know there's going to be there's going to be twists along the way but yeah i didn't maybe one of the failings was i didn't care about any of the characters so I got wrapped up in it. I was watching the whole thing. Oh, like, fuck, where's this going to go now? What, what are they going to do? Where's uh, that going to happen? I was, I was like, couldn't guess where it was going, and I was interested the whole time. Right. Bad acting, though. That the the mother, <laughs> the the like, got a bad French kind of weird French English accent. Mm. She was shit. She couldn't deliver a line to save her fucking life. My God, she was bad. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, it was all to research diseases, wasn't it? So that Spoilers. was the twist? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Cause, it's almost yeah, as mean, if you've watched the movie. Yeah, look, peek behind the beef curtain. Um, We picked this film because it was one we'd both watched because we bailed on our next Netflix subscriptions. But I'm going back a, well, a few one of us did to when I watched it. Yeah. I did because mm-hmm. I had to sell the West West Wing um, for you constant listeners. Times are tough. Uh, yeah, so we picked this. So I'm I'm just sort of ticking over my brain the bits I, that I can uh, recall, and and that was the thing. Eh, they like aged them quickly to. Was it to test medication, or yes. just to watch them die? <laughs> Yeah, they when they arrive at the resort, they give given drinks. The drinks has got little potions yeah, in it. Right. Everyone's got a different little yeah, medical yeah, disorder yeah. or something, mm, or most of them. Mm, mm. And when they beach, they age quicker, and they see if the medicine works. They can see, ah, oh, and, and one day they can go, ah, oh, in 20 years, they stopped having epileptic fits, basically, mm. in one day. Yeah. It's 20 years of research in one day. 
So yeah. I thought, oh, it's actually, there's a lot of these um, trapped on an island and scientists are watching them. That's the twist at the end. I've seen a few. There's that show Island on uh, Netflix that, uh, yeah. yeah, same same thing. They don't age, but they're just on there and it turns out they're being watched by scientists. I've and it's all very empty and boring. But best this version of that's Cabin in the Woods, don't you think? Isn't that done? Oh, uh, yeah, same same sort of story here. Yeah. That was a shit movie. I fucking hated it. Oh, see, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I, thought it was no, I hated it. hated it. Do you like Evil Dead? Do yeah. You like horror movies? Yeah. Oh. oh, I thought you would have enjoyed it. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, I, I thought carry it was on. St- stupid and boring. Moving along. Yeah. Just don't like Chris Hemsworth because he's so attractive. Uh, he's just, I pe- always compared to him. Um, but I, I think I'm far more muscular, oh, quite right. a bit more handsome. I don't really see the resemblance. I don't know. I, th- I, I think I'd try gay for Chris, but I wouldn't for you. <laughs> well, that's mostly my personality, though, isn't it? Well, I mean, your personality does go a long way. Um, well, my, uh, yeah, well, it's terrible, it's, but my my good looks is outstanding. Mm. Right, a real, real fucking face for radio. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. You're sp- yeah. spoiling the mystique. Yeah. Um, old. When did those two kids fuck in order to make the baby so fast? Well, they like- did it very, very quickly in the tent. Oh. Um, right. Yeah. Yeah. Just, the- just, a, just the tip, just a tester. They were left alone for five seconds, and but that's, uh, that's a, a two years in old time. Yeah, you think he would have been squirting his pants when he was younger, you know, like <laughs> just go, oh fuck, what's happening? It's it's up again. It's down. It's up. Yeah. It's down. Yeah, no oh, time oh, for oh, that. fucking yeah. another mess, mom. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I've squidged my pants again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that that happened very quickly, but then again, that's sort of the idea. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I oh, look, you know what, the, the bit I did appreciate, well, maybe I didn't, I didn't, the whole, they're trapped on the beach, there's nowhere for them to leave. I was like, well, how are they stuck there? And they did the whole, I'm walking down the tunnel and, oh, I get a headache. And then, did they pass out and appear back on the beach? Or no, they just passed out on the spot, eh? And then people dragged them back. Something like that. Yeah, it's a bit of a weird one because you think they'd pass out when they came to get them. Yeah. Get the person yeah. that passed out. It seems it's like they people in the they shoe. magically appeared back on the beach, like mm. you know, a video game or people something. In the shoe. Mm. But weird. then, yeah, what I did like is I was like, why don't they just fucking climb the cliff? Ah, oh, old shamam and a googly ding dong, changalang, um, thought of that. Because they did the same thing, and they climbed, and then they blacked out and fell. I thought, brilliant. I like that. Yeah. Yeah, he thinks of everything. Well, most things. Everything. Man's a genius. Not the, hey, let's just go under the water out through this coral fucking tunnel. You know, he's he's having his ups and downs in his career, and I think the budgets are a bit lower than they used to be, Mm. and... He yeah, used sure. to have actors like Sam Jackson and, and Bruce Willis. Bruce who, Willie. Yeah. They were good actors who could sell shit, you know? They could, like, yeah. say a line, deliver it, and job done. Yeah. yippee ki these, act- these actors are not as good, and I think they're getting the same dialogue uh Shyamalan is always written, but they just mm. can't deliver it. They don't know it. They haven't got the gravitas, or they haven't got well. That isn't that thing? That's, he's there as a director. He's got to be helping choose the cast, right? He's got to be there at the auditions. He knows what they're going to say, and then on the set, it's kind of his job to get the most out of the actors, right? To get the performance. Would yeah, you say? But- is that how it would work? There's a limit to the talent as yeah, well as the actor. He's picking the talent in the first place, didn't he? Yeah, but he's also got a budget. That's what yeah. I was saying in the beginning. He's got a lower budget now. He hasn't got 
yeah, Paul Giamatti, fantastic actor, hasn't got that anymore. Now he's got the French chick who can't speak English. Yeah, Giamatti's pretty low rent these days. Let's be honest; he's in like Alvin and the Chipmunks Five. You know, he's not. Um, I haven't not seen him in a long longer. time. Yeah, yeah. I, I was wondering where he went. I was thinking about him the other day. Yeah, uh, he have health issues, some like that, drug problems. Yeah. You know, he, uh, Paul Giamatti actually came from a wealthy family, inherited millions and millions. So he's he oh, was, then he's fine. He's then. been wealthy since the beginning, and interesting. Yeah, he's probably just playing golf, and living yeah. large. Yeah, the good life. Yeah. Living the good. So I guess watching this and thinking about what are the themes of this movie? Mm-hmm. Yes, really, the thing I can come up with. Oh, tool bag, get out of the fucking way. Um, it's about using human guinea. Is it ethical to use human guinea pigs to save the lives of millions of people? Like they find cures in a quicker time. They're killing these people on the beach, but it'll save the lives of millions of people. You know, the needs of the f- many outweigh the needs of the few. You Is know, that I think. I think. Yep, but I think if they just said to people we need volunteers you've got this incurable disease or did they give them the disease no they had the disease right and they gave them medication yeah Hmm. like if you asked for volunteers like you're gonna fucking die of this thing or come to this resort and we'll give you you know your age quickly that just lay it out for them this is what will happen to you but you'll Save millions of lives. You get heaps of people going. Yep, I'm in. You would. There's all those people that want to donate their bodies to science, and yeah, absolutely. They could have well, just done it. You think it make, someone's got three weeks cool, to know. live, and there's they're, they're desperate for any kind of cure they can get, and they go, "Okay, this could cure you. This could add twenty years on your life," but. Those 20 years are going to evaporate in one day. <laughs> or you could live three weeks <laughs> and die anyway. Yeah, I th- look, I think most good people would go... Fuck off. <laughs> no, I think if it was going to help people, you might be like, yep, sweet. Or three weeks compared to one day, and you might be able to save lives. I'd go for the one day. Maybe that's just me. Maybe you I'm would foolish, give up, but I think... You would give up your three weeks... And die in one day, and the chances of helping other people. Yeah. Or would you spend the three weeks with your your loved ones, your children? No, but see, that one day could save one of my loved ones. That's the fucking thing, because most of those diseases are, yeah, you know, um, genetic. So yeah, you'd fucking do anything. Anyway, that's getting real serious. Jeez, Dan, fucking bring it back up, would you? Well, that's what the <laughs> film is about. That's what it's meant to make you think yeah. about. Yes, it's art. Well, no, it's not. We we, <laughs> we just gave a we we just created a better version of this fucking film. They just no, they no, didn't no. give people the option. They just shoved them on a beach and said, "Fuck you, I'm I'm experimenting on you," and then they I, had traumatic experiences, and then two fuckwits swam out underwater through the coral like a piece of shit. No, no. And, the thing is, with the, I used to talk about the themes of movies when we first started. I stopped because we did, we did a lot of movies where it just had no theme in them. They were just. Movies. Essentially, we've spent the last 40 episodes just talking cocks and boobs, so we forgot all about the grown-up themes of films. Because those nice films have didn't it. have them. I, I look at this and go, this film's about fuck all. Um, this film, it's actually got a subject you can talk about, and so I brought it up. I'm pleased that uh, M. Light Shyamalan, underrated writer, is actually still trying to write a good movie that provokes thought. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. Yeah. Give him points. Have you seen, have you seen all of um, M. Night Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious and Milan's films? Uh, I haven't seen the produced buys, I think. Oh. Because yeah. he did oh. that, um, the Devil in the Elevator one, didn't he? That was a good one, wasn't oh. it? And I remember it being quite I good. I didn't see it. Yeah. I like. I haven't seen them all. I, I, I think he few. produced that, though, didn't he? He didn't direct oh. it. Okay, the village. He directed that one. Yeah, that was that was the, uh, <laughs> that was one I enjoyed in the theater, but haven't been able to do again. Not really. Yeah, yeah, like the big the big twist wasn't that 
Good. Yeah. Because yeah. I was like, I'm M. Night Shibupi, and I have to have a big twist. And so he added a big twist, and everybody just went, oh, it was too much of a twist. Uh, I think it was, that was, he dumbed it down a bit, and it was a bit, everyone kind of guessed it, you know? Yeah. But he's, uh, would it be, he's, been, he's been typecast as the twist guy, right? Yeah. Just because just he completely fucking slapped everybody in the face with his big brown dick with the sixth sense. Yeah. Well, I think, he? I think, yeah, and Unbreakable, everyone went, oh, he does the twist, does he? You know, after Unbreakable, they're like, he does twists. And now we get him. Yeah. He's going to do that every time. And we started yeah. trying to guess them. Mm. Yeah, ahead of time. I didn't need the twist, did it? I thought it was a good film. And we all knew oh, no, the I, twist in Unbreakable. No, I, don't, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming at all. The twist in Unbreakable with that um, Samuel L. Jackson was the bad guy. Is that the twist? Yeah, I am the opposite of you. Yeah, I didn't get that. I was like, holy see that fuck, shit Sam Jackson. No, no. Oh, Jesus. Hook, oh, line, and yeah. sinker. Enjoyed that movie. Wow. Good stuff. Oh look! Oh, I love the film, but I saw that shit coming a mile off when he was in the in the when he was talking about shit in the comics. I was like, "Oh yeah, he's going to be the bad guy." Boom! He's the bad guy. Hmm. I After like Earth, bones remember the Will class. Smith one? That was a bit. Mm, that was oh, a bit muddy. I definitely replaced seeing that with other things in my life. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I gave Will Smith another Google alert. Jesus. What was it? Was it what Shattered or was it Shattered? The one that was sort of his comeback movie when uh, Mc- James McAvoy was the uh, split personality. Uh, no, split. This one, split. Uh, split. Yeah, there was uh, uh, Unbreakable, Split, and then sh- Shattered Glass. And glass. Yeah. Yeah, and I Glass I was a big fizzle. It went boom. That one's. Uh, did you for the ending. Yep, yep, yep. Didn't, didn't really. It's all right. It's a bit shit. Because he did. Good ending. They did a big. They did a big. Oh, no, that's right. It was the end of Split, which they chucked old Bruce Willie in at the end, eh? To link it in. Yeah, he dies in a puddle that's or something. Right. Yeah, it's, it's fucked. And then everybody's a superhero at the end. Uh, ah, yeah, great. Dumb. Yeah, so he's. He's got talent. People keep giving him money. Less money. Not, less and know, less money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, less people are giving him less money overall, but he's going to keep making films until he's just going to make one on his iPhone. Yeah. yeah twisting it. Well, he keeps it was going. on a Samsung. Apparently, uh, was it Glass? That was a f- he funded it himself, or was it... Sh- yeah, no one would give him the money, so he, he mortgaged his house, funded the film, and oh, did very, very, very well. And it sounds like he got all the money from it, so he did pretty good off yeah. that one. The Bless guy. his heart. Bless his heart. Did they yeah. ever make uh, glass action figures? I might have to look into that one. Hmm. Probably. Um, what was bad? At the end, the when the lady starts, like the beautiful blonde, thin lady, start getting old and twisted, and she comes after them, and she's breaking her bones. It looked a bit ridiculous, a little mm. bit unintentionally funny. Mm-hmm. That, that was very good. a budget thing, you know. Yeah, so it's a budget thing. It also filmed it during COVID and there was all lockdowns and all the oh, restrictions yeah. going on. When we were all dying in real life. Did you life. like it? That's the thing. COVID. Did you like the film? I <laughs> uh, no, the old. Oh, Sunny. Sunny, did oh. you like the film? Oh. Old people? I like old people. The film old, I, uh, like I said, I enjoyed the idea. Like an episode of The Twilight Zone. It could have been an hour-long episode and I would have been happy. I think stretched out to a film. Well, it's a pretty no. quick hour and a half. Oh, sure. Doesn't fuck but around. I um, I won't be watching it again, you know? like, And it's not one I'm going to recommend our constant listeners to check out. 
Yeah. <laughs> nah. Mm. Yeah. It's just okay. It's just, there's nothing great about it. It's just okay. I so really enjoyed Sunday, it. Rainy, rainy Sunday afternoon. I'm not feeling like getting out of bed. I've got a half a pack of really salted potato chips and a Fanta. Watch this movie. Yeah, I watched it. I was pleasantly surprised. I was interested from beginning to end. There's a couple of uh, shit bits, but you can do a lot worse. Yeah, if you're uh, strapped for what to watch, yeah, maybe that might be an option. May or may not work for you. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. All right, look, give it a shot. Make up your own mind because it's got got themes that you can discuss. With your chums. I got a question for you. Oh, sure. Fire. If you were trapped on an island Mm -hmm. and you could only take two movies with you, one of them is old, what is the other one? Yeah. Uh, uh, One of them's old. Um, Well, then I'd try and take a film that I actually want to (laughs) watch on repeat. (laughs) Um, Oh, that's a tough, tough one. Um, you don't want it to be too downbeat because you're you're stuck on an island. You don't want it to be about committing suicide while trapped on an island. No, yeah, you wouldn't take yeah. Cast away. No, wow, yeah, that's true. But he survived at the end. Um, and you'd probably want to want something with a little bit of nudity in it to keep you entertained because there's only so much you can see in the clouds. <laughs> Mm, yeah. Mm. Jeez. Or I mean, look. If you were just asking me normally what I'd double feature this with, but now mm. that you've got on Desert Island, that's really tough. Oh, uh, what know? would you? I was just trying to do an interesting way of saying double feature oh, right. it. What are you going to double yeah. feature it with? For fuck's okay. sake! I obviously <laughs> confused you because you're a stupid person. Oh. My my simple mind didn't handle. You changed the format. I told oh. you never to do that. Hurry up. Um. Old and 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 fucking dead ear on a. I I haven't done my research. Uh, ooh, oh, oh, uh, yeah, I got it, I got it. Do you remember that film? Batteries not included. Does anybody remember that film? No, uh, I've changed it. It's Cocoon, old and Cocoon with the goot. Because everybody needs more goot. That's Steve Gutenberg for you, uninitiated. Mm. Old people. Okay, that's a good film. And good cocoon. Film. And it's got old people on it. So fucking. Ipso and nudity. Fatto. There's tits and in that nudity. film. Yeah. Wow. Best. I fucking nailed it right there, you people. This is why I've got a show and you don't. What about I'm you? Gonna, I'm going to say. Cube. Yeah. Cube. Mm. It's people trapped in a confined space. They've got a puzzle Sorry. to solve to get out. Are you saying cube or cube? Y- yes, you said cube over and over cube. again. No, cube. C- cube. Why are you saying it weird? It's a cube. 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 It might, it might be the fucking internet, but cube. Yeah. Cube with a C. Cube. Yeah. Yeah. Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> Cuba on the end doesn't make a C at the beginning, Brad. Jesus. Cool cool whip. <laughs> you said goot. <laughs> goot three times, for fuck's sake. No one knows what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, well, they do now. It's the goot <sighs> actor of our generation, Steve Goot. The goot. Oh. The goot. Right. So over on IMDb, the cold-hearted <laughs> bastards are giving this a 5.8. Jesus. Yeah. Uh, someone said seven. Interesting. Different from most movies being made today. Someone said six. An often profound, sometimes stupid, but ultimately original thriller. Mm. Three. Enticing premise, but terrible dialogue and writing ruin it. And another three. This movie has some of the worst acting I've ever seen from everyone, honestly. Mm. All correct, I would say. (laughs) (laughs) All solid points. Yeah. 
Yeah. So what are you going to rate it? Out of 10? Oh, look. Your final verdict. Before we all get old. Oh, fucking, you're on fire. Mm. I'm going to give it, I am going to give it uh, five. Pregnant juveniles out of ten. Five pregnant juveniles out of ten. So I go, oh, she was a juvenile when she got pregnant, wasn't she? I don't know. It was so confusing. Uh, I've seen well, it now. Technically, she was like fucking nine or something. Um, Gross. He should go to prison. Sham along a ding dong. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to give it a seven out of wow. just, yeah, enjoyed it. Enjoyed it. Could do worse. Uh, yeah, but yeah, M Night Shyamalan could go both ways for you. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we summed it up. Anything else you want to add, or you you fucking done? Um. Well, what do you think? Um, his best film is Old M Night Shigorni Weaver. Uh, I'm gonna say Signs. Enjoyed that one. It's his best one. All right, I have to go with the original. Um, Six Sense still his best one. Started. He's like he's like Tarantino. No, Tarantino stayed good. Bad analogy. Um. Yeah, Ebb Knight Shelley Long's had a good career. I'm sure he'll continue to put out mediocre films for us to watch. Well, talking about good directors who go bad, Steven Spielberg. Fuck's sake, God, give up. Oh, I haven't even. What's he doing at the moment? He gave up on Indy Five. No, fuck. like good. Um. I watched that Shut West Side mouth. story the other day. I went, fuck's sake, this is bloody... Fuck. I it turned crazy? it off for 20 minutes. It was fucking terrible shit. Yeah. And he did all those spy films no one asked for that no one watched. Fucking hell. Yeah, he just he needs to work with Tom Hanks again and do Goonies too. Tom Hanks <laughs> wouldn't bother with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, another perfect episode. Thanks, M. Knight. Yeah. Have a good M night, everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Ah. Should have done that in the old man voice. Mr. Trick there. Have a good M night, everybody. <laughs> yes. And the creepy pedo laugh. Oh, oh, oh.